The husband of a 9-11 hero and a New York City uh, police official has decided to return his wife's Glamour Women of the Year Award because of the fact that the magazine has just issued a similar award to Caitlyn Jenner. Now, Maura Smith uh, died while she was rescuing people during 9-11. She would literally walk into the World Trade Center and rescue injured people, get them out, and then go back in and do the same thing. Now, unfortunately, she didn't survive while she was in the middle of this heroic action. And as a result, uh, a few months after 9-11, uh, Glamour decided to give this New York uh, police official the award, the Woman of the Year Award. Now fast forward to just recently, Glamour decided to give Caitlyn Jenner an award uh, that isn't necessarily the Woman of the Year Award. It's, it's an award for the fact that she's transgender. And as a result, James Smith was so upset that he decided to return his wife's Woman of the Year Award. Now um, here's the statement uh, that James Smith wrote on Facebook. He says, I find it insulting to Maura Smith's memory and the memory of other heroic women who have earned this award. I can only guess that this was a publicity stunt meant to resuscitate a dying medium. After discussing this slap in the face to the memory of our hero with my family, I have decided to return Mora's award to Glamour magazine. So if you read his entire post, uh, there's a portion of it where he refers to Caitlyn Jenner as a man. He's very clear about the fact that he is not necessarily buying some of the discrimination and terrible things that the transgender community go through. But at the same time, like I get it. I get that you think this is minimizing your wife's award, but because your wife won that award it doesn't mean that no one else can win it if they're not on the exact same level. What Caitlyn Jenner did in terms of raising awareness about the transgender community was courageous. She was 65 years old when she came forward and said, hey, you know what, I know that I'm an Olympian, I know that I'm known for my masculinity, but the reality is I identify as a woman. That's an incredibly hard thing to do. I have my issue with Caitlyn Jenner not looking out for the greater trans community and, and some of the struggles that they face as people who don't have the same resources as her. Mm -hmm. But that's, uh, I think that's a fair criticism. That's not to take away from what she did, which I do believe is courageous. What do you think? Make your point. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, we didn't get into the whole, like, was Caitlyn Jenner uh, deserving of the award? Is she right. courageous? Because I think we've uh, turned that stone over a million times. But I think it's their right as a family to say, like, you know, we don't want this or we do want this. And it's, right. it's, uh, it's up to them. And it's, you know, it's part of the thing that is great about being in this country is that you can, you can have a, uh, an opinion that is, uh, at least in this room, definitely an unpopular one. Yeah. And um, we will respect your ability to do that as long as you don't try to push that on anyone else. I think that also I don't know that the Glamour Magazine Award really matters. Yeah, <laughs> like, it doesn't. I mean, like, I mean what, we, we recently, what is this? We like, recently is like, talked about it on The Unturks. Who gives a fuck? You know, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just something that Glamour does for publicity, period. Of course. Right? So it, it doesn't have to do with Caitlyn Jenner. It has to do with anyone who gets this award. They do it to kind of make a statement and, and get some publicity for their magazine. Christina, make your point. Yeah. But first of all, I just have to say my heart goes out to this guy and his family. Like, I can't imagine losing a loved one like that. Mm -hmm. um, I know that he actually came out and wrote this other statement saying, like, that he acknowledged that Laverne Cox had uh, received a similar award in the past, and he said it's not even just about um, transgender women. It's about Caitlyn Jenner. I think he called her Mr. Jenner, which yeah. is so disrespectful. And he said that... Um, it was because she's so comfy in Malibu, and when he sees transgendered youth on the street, they don't have that easy peasy way of dealing with it. Yeah. And I think that's unfortunate. I think that's a little bit misguided because, I mean, um, just because there's there are so many different kinds of bravery, and I know we could this yeah. maybe beating a dead horse, but um, I. I'm not sure if it was okay for him to say that in the name of his wife when she can't he, speak for herself. Yeah, that's a good point. I haven't heard that point made, so I yeah. like that. Well, here's a personal question. Um, real quick, who would you give the Woman of the Year award to, Andy? Got to go to my mom, for sure. Aww. No, my mom. Oh, okay, all right. All right. I'm yeah. giving it to mom. Okay, okay. moms are off can not, limits. Can moms. not go to mom? Mom, no. What? No. Uh, <laughs> significant others, are they off sure, limits as sure. well? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, uh, I've been very fortunate. You know, this is a tough one because I've known very, I've, I've known an incredible amount of awesome women. Yeah. And um, I would say 
I don't want to give a, a, a shitty award to somebody who I really like. So, <laughs> let's okay, say so no nobody gets it. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> the glamour one, a real one. I don't know. This is an absurd. This is an absurd yeah. statement. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I worked with a um, uh, an EP once who was uh, one of the the most um, awesome, fiercest. Uh, most unafraid, Andy, but just also say who it is. <laughs> it's Anna Kasperi. No. Uh, <laughs> no, we'll move on. All right, Christina. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, if it's not going to be my mom uh, right now, I just want Adele to get it so I, she can sing to me some more. Yeah. I'm obsessed. I yeah. want her to be singing all the time. All I think right. she's a humanitarian. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, yeah. I'm going to go with Irma Brito, who is <laughs> behind the glass, in the control room, producing the show right now. She's awesome because she fixed the lighting for the show. Oh, <laughs> Woman yeah. of the Year Award! A little, little self-serving. Made the world a little better. <laughs> Love you, Irma. <laughs> All right, guys, comment <laughs> in the section below. Tell us what you think. Um, do you think that this police official is making a good point, or do you think he's misguided? Let us know what you think in the comment section below, and we'll see you soon. Hey guys, I have an awesome new announcement for you. Turns out that The Point will be hosted on the video platform Watchable.com. All you have to do is go to Watchable.com and search for The Point and boom, you'll see our videos, you'll see our content. And we really want to make sure that The Point is available on all these different and awesome, uh, great platforms. So take a look, tell us what you think, and we'll see you soon.